which is about as far as I can go. Sure, I'll just move the curry I did that you carried with you. Uh, okay, uh, Uker. I delay. Okay. I want to go after the armored golem. That will get me two rolls to succeed instead of just one. Lemmy? You still got a few rounds of your your iciness left? Which has been yeah. super handy to get to get ready and set up and keeping the assassin vine from attacking you. <laughs> yeah, that's was the idea. Um, Leave it to the druid to control the battlefield. Just wait till I get a level. All right, or two. Anyway, um, well, yeah. yeah, I think I think I'll. Um, I will I will ready to cast a spell that I'm deciding on still. Okay, you're ready to cast. <laughs> uh, ready to cast. What's the condition for the ready? Uh, if if his thing if his um, if Uker's push fails. Okay. Armored clay golem. It is no longer hasted. It's still tangled for one more round, and the sleet storm is still in effect. So, acrobatics check. Acrobatics check. <clears throat> Minus three. It makes it so it can move its movement at half. Right, quarter. Plus half, so a movement of twenty becomes five. So two five foot moves. Right. So the first five foot move, you could actually see a corner of it come out, and then it slips <laughs> into the goddamn grease spell. Um, it then has to make a <laughs> minus three uh, reflex save DC 10 or fall down. Oh no, sorry, or, or not being able to move. It oh. makes it save, so it continues its move. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll that it only gets to move another five feet. So basically it... Yeah, because it's again in a quarter move zone. Yeah. Uh, okay. And it's not out of the... <laughs> The icy slipperiness and it's for everyone at home. This is called crowd control. <laughs> you may have heard of it. It's trying to get to attack, but then it's gonna put his uh, hand out. Uker would like to go now. Uh, Uker is going at twenty. Lemmy's at nine, so Uker can wait. Armor, armor, clay golem goes at nine. Um, Oberon goes at eight. Uker's initiative drops to eight point two. So there's a few people that actually get to go before Uker. Okay. Uh, it's like you rolled a six. Yeah, initiative gets everyone's kind of clustering on the same initiative pip. So we're. Agent. Is that at my place or at yours? Agent. Oh, it's here. People are doing fireworks, I guess. Uh, Oberon had a readied action to cast fly. He's going to keep the readied action to cast fly. Mm-hmm. A Zildan gets to go, then it's Uker. <sighs> I need a couple of minutes. It's kind of inconvenient, but there's apparently two piles of dog shit that I need to clean up as host with people in my house. Got it. So uh, Could uh, we take a two-minute um, biohazard yeah, break? Biohazard <laughs> break. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. This, this fight is super intense, so we can we can take a, uh, we can take a short break, and then you can deal with your yeah. Yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs>
There are fireworks right across the street from me. I'm not sure what the occasion is. I'm our mythic level. <laughs> They're celebrating your mythic level. Of course they are, absolutely. Yeah, go for it, guy. Wow. <laughs> what else could it be? I don't know. I thought that stuff went on, like... events around Redmond. Hmm. I wonder. Non-stop bullshit from July 8th to July 11th. <laughs> right. Uh... I don't see what that is. Somebody bought discount fireworks post 4th of July. They're now putting them off. I can't quite hmm. see it on my balcony. I just can see it through the reflections of the, uh, the buildings across the way. I found a really neat spell. Diminish plants. When I read the details I, of it, I diminish you. It's uh, it gets rid of it cancels entangle. There's a counter to entangle. Cool. Mm -hmm. Why did you tell him, you fool? You fool! What have you done? Oh, this has <laughs> always been in uh, dispel magic. Mm. Yeah, but if you don't have to roll. Was there protesting today in uh, Seattle? It isn't there always? It's just how Seattle is. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I won't get into it then. <laughs> It's not a holiday. I know. It was really weird. I was walking around earlier today, 
and I saw a bunch of cars on a side street instead of the main street, and I couldn't figure out why not. Like, why were they there? It was like backed up traffic on a side street. I'm like, there's a main arterial one block away. Why? Weren't... I have to assume that something was going on. But... Mm. I didn't check into it because I didn't want to waste the time, to be honest. Oh, you guys found a good spot. I didn't know if you were going to find the the thing underneath the garbage pile. The campaign could have gone so such a it's like such a different direction if you guys left this for a long time. <clears throat> Which I was fine to do. It was just the the, the player sense was uh, was tingling. <laughs> Is he going to be able to push the thing off the cliff? At this point, is there anything Uker cannot push? I mean, having looked at his build and trying to understand what he's saying, it's like every human construction in the history of human constructions are things that he could just push over. Eventually Canadian radio tower? You just fucking bench lift that. The, the CN Tower, yeah. <laughs> yeah, CN Tower. Boop. Burj Khalifa, push that over. No big deal. Whatever. It's like... When you get to that point of strength, which is truly heroic, godlike strength, there's just nothing you can't do. It's it's yeah, well, it's he's, ridiculous. He's not there yet. And awesome as fuck. <laughs> he's not there yet. Like we're gonna solve all of our problems. Just Uker, push that thing over. <laughs> it's like using the bad Hulk guy. to solve all your problems. Right, it's Lots like of it's like things. <laughs> right, it's like oh. How do we solve the problem that we've had with with Sauron? You know, in 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 Mordor. How, how, what should we do? We'll send Uker to push his tower over, and then he'll die. <laughs> 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 we teleport away if it doesn't work. Oh no! The they have a Death Star. Well, we'll send Uker in, <laughs> and he'll pull out all the important pieces. <laughs> Smash them. Hulk smash in the Death Star. Sure, sure, sure. Right? It's like, oh, oh, there's there's a bunch of bad people. We'll just we'll just send Uker and he'll he'll smash. We'll, we'll, we'll dress <laughs> Uker up like a Wookiee, pretend he's a prisoner, march him to the Death right. Star. <laughs> well, I mean, for God's sake, they even said that in the Avengers. <laughs> um, we all sound like retarded yeah. Wookies. We, we do. <laughs> um, is there any other kind? Of, but uh. But the the I mean they even said in, in, in Avenger they're like I have an army, huh? We have a Hulk. It's like, oh, we have a nuker. <laughs> I don't know, that's mine. <laughs> so we're at Oberon is writing an action, then Azildan, then Uker. So Right. Uh yeah, you guys control the battlefield pretty well. Yeah, I think between um Lemmy and 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 Lokirk, we did actually a pretty good job. That's a very it's a very useful spell. Sleep storm. It is. I wasn't actually aware of that. It's it's like ice storm, but more controlly and less damagey, which yeah. I think is actually a benefit. It's like yeah, five d six cold damage meh, compared to slowing people down. That's mm, look at that. I think guy. that's better. He's running away. Block. And then you just surround them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Our, I, I block think that's all actually, range. I think that's actually better, in, in in my opinion. Yeah, and and you block all range. You create a you know an eighty Mission. foot line that just basically can't says, see shit. <laughs> yeah, right. You create an eighty feet line that basically says no range attacks, no spells. Yeah, when when, uh, when archers are gonna attack you, whoop. right? On them. <laughs> and it's better than like you know, um, gosh, what's it called? Uh, Ice storm. No, the other one. Um, Mist or whatever that you that people obscuring always use. Well, obscuring mist. Well, right. well, right, but but the thing about obscuring mist, of course, is that is that you have to be you, you cast it around your square versus this spell where you put it wherever you want. That's long range, downtown. Even dark vision. <laughs> it's pretty good. Well, of course, because dark vision relies on being able to see through darkness, not particles. 
I, I really don't know what I can use against this thing. I, I don't know how it can help. I've been looking at both s spells, and I just... You got nothing for plants? Yeah, but, um... Not, I mean, not really. Yes, but no. But no, but yes, but yes, but no. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Ah, prayer, I'll kill actually. you last. Prayer. That's what uh, I'm going to cast. Prayer. What? No. They're just going to town with those fireworks. It's like... We didn't hear fireworks like this in the fort. Yeah. Marty, prayer would give a bonus to... I have to, to wonder uh, what that's about, because that makes no sense. It's, it's what, the 10th? It's the 9th. It's the 9th? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little late, though, you know? Yeah, might as well you, you think they do it. So, though I guess it is the first weekend after the 4th. Maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, I know. God damn, that sounds loud from here. I bet it's like it's, it's gotta be right like the street. It's gonna be annoying <laughs> as hell from where you are. Boom! What the hell? Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast prayer. Yeah, but is it prayer of my God? My range. Is it not that I'm not interested? Five. Ah, oh, crap. Um, not in range. Hmm. Dumbass. Hey, fuck you. I can actually. I can get in range. As I move at thirty. What's called Derby Days. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Derpy Days. Derby. <laughs> Derby. Derby. <laughs> All right, there we go. That'll work. This what are you doing, man? It's your turn. Okay, he'll just uh, spend a key point and try and hit that fucking thing. Hit, hit the clay golem or hit the hit. animated vine that's around its neck? Uh, I, well, yeah, I guess the animated vine would be the better option. Okay. <laughs> 27, 28. The vine has an AC of 15. And 23. Any DR? Nope. Okay. Uh, it's actually got a l lower AC because it's still in the icy area. Uh, no, it doesn't affect that way. It's the tank of bag. Anyways, you it hit. It doesn't affect it. No, no DR. 36. 47 points of damage. You kill the vine, and it falls off. Nice work. It slide, it, three arrows into it, and it slides off the golem. Um, you're still pinning part of it to the golem. It's just dragging the, the pulpy vine behind it. <coughs> now it's Uger's turn. Now we need... Push him in. Adam. 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 No? Give it all you got when you roll that random number generator. <laughs> <laughs> when you type in those numbers. Clearly it will happen. Here he is. Adam. 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 So, Adam. um... <sighs> A Zildin fired three. Adam, a Zildin Adam, fired three arrows Adam, and killed Adam, the vine. Adam. It's now dead over the back of the uh, over the back of the golem, and and then it's uh, Uger's go. He delayed until this point. Adam, 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 Adam. Get him. Uh, so can I bull rush him? Let me, let me read bull rush. Because you're trying to bull rush him off, is what I'm saying. The pit. That's oh, two words, not one. Pushed back five feet. Pushed back. 
it's normally part of the charge. So charges are straight line things, so it's kind of like in the direction of your charge in the straight line. Uh, yeah, there will be an angle there. You're muted. <laughs> yeah. So, so, for, so for you, if it's if it's if it's uh, substituting your your um, for your melee, uh, so it's going to be. I need to get him fifteen feet. Is yeah. what I'm. Yep. That's what I see the goal being. Yep. Uh, and if I get him five feet, then he gets here. And then if I have another one, then it's that I can get him off. Yeah. It's it's uh, a. Yeah. It's reflex save, Bill. If he moves, if you succeed at all, <laughs> if right. not, if not going over the side. Okay, so I am going to rage, and as a standard action, I am going to bull rush the armored clay golem, and I do have improved bull rush. Okay. All right. Its CMD is lowered. It loses four a um, dex. Four dex. So that's minus two in its CMD, and it, its CMD now becomes twenty-eight. Okay. Don't fuck this up, Booker. Don't fuck this up. 31. Are you going to So a mythic point? I am going to... Uh, 31 is a succeed, and it will go... Five feet back. Five feet, and Do then... Don't fuck this up. I will myth spend a mythic point for a surge. For six. So that's 37... That's fine, it's still 10 feet. Okay, 10 feet back from the charge is kind of like there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to make a nat 20 reflex save to be standing in that one square all awkwardly, because it's still got one square and it's... Uh, it rolls an 11, it disappears off the side of the cliff. Uh, it, gets, it, it, it does get a chance to catch itself, so the DC 25... Um, uh, <laughs> Which it can't make, if I recall correctly. It can't. Wait, no, that's the, that, that's the carry action. Uh, yeah, it, it, it just goes straight off the cliff. It slides because of the grease, it slides because of the ice, and it just goes disappearing off the side. Go ahead and roll your 20 D6 as it plummets 400 feet down into the... Uh, um, 78. I don't think it gets DR versus uh, falling. falling. No, you don't. No. You do no. not get that. Um, the dead animated scarf vine going with it because it was still kind of stuck to it. So the whole body of the thing. Uh, 78, it actually survived. What? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do any damage before we, we had softened it up. <laughs> <laughs> So it's way down there with the dead bits of the, the plant creature. It goes over to the edge and looks down. Well. Uh, <laughs> alerted Guardian Scarf. Yeah, I'm just going to take things off the initiative because... Mm. <gasps> uh, uh, Lokrik yells out and he'll end Bard Song on his turn. He'll let it linger, actually. Uh, Galath, your last to act before we snap out of initiative. I have nothing else to do at this point. Um, my sword's busted, so I guess I'll draw the keen short sword. Okay. Um, but I have really, I have no other real actions that are necessary at this point. I'm gonna cast flaming sphere. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a roasty ball. Are, are you casting it or no? No, no, okay, I'm screwing right. around. Right, we'll, we'll snap out of initiative. Um, you guys listen for a moment. Like, it takes a moment for the thing to reach the bo bottom. But then you hear... <laughs> you, you hear movement down there. Like, you didn't fucking kill it. Uh, ah, shit. Overrun. Make me fly. All right. I think that's a bad idea. Make me fly. I will bomb it. Boom. Oberon, Oberon zips over to you. It's it's a couple rounds later. If there's any um, if there's any effects, I, I I let the rage fatigue wear off. Okay. Uh, the a couple rounds means the um, uh, let's see. 
the the big aura of Blizzard goes away. I can dismiss it. <laughs> the entangled goes away, or the tangle foot bag. Uh, the entangle foot bag goes Guess away. What? I'm making right. more tangle foot bags in the future. Uh, they're they're pretty great, oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, just making people gooey. <laughs> All right, so Uker, um, just be careful. Mm. I'm rather getting. When am I not careful? <laughs> I'm rather getting used to having a giant around to solve all problems. He cast fly spell on you. You misunderstand. He is not a giant. Bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am gonna fly around down there, sort of like in a lazy circle, and drop bombs on his head. Okay, you've got light. Yep. Okay. On my ball. On my balls. Uh, uh, let me. So I can I, see. I need to. 40 feet away. I need to find a miniature because I didn't expect you guys to go down the pit. Bad DM. You should have known your players a bit better. Marty, Marty, Marty. <laughs> on his way down, Marty. On his way down. What's in the sphere? Yeah, that's what I'm getting the miniature for. What's in the box? Oh, I know who. <laughs> I know who I'm gonna use. Nothing. Nothing. You're so stupid. <sighs> the dog poops me. on two beds, not one, but two beds. While I've been it poop on a bed, man. Like seriously, it, it jumped on the bed, <laughs> it took a dump, <laughs> then it went over to the other room, jumped on that bed, and took a dump. And it was a cute little puppy that was the one that was doing the dumping. Wow, you really got to Beat the shit out of your puppies. So your, your puppies <laughs> literally <laughs> shit the bed. <laughs> they literally shit the bed. The shit beds. two beds. <laughs> shit the shit beds. The beds, plural. <laughs> shit you the know, beds. You know, if you don't hurry, those puppies will no longer fit in a burlap sack. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that one already doesn't fit in a burlap sack. Oh, jeez. It's uh, 36 pounds already. Oh. Well... It's helping my uh, my brother-in-law and my sister learn about uh, animals. <laughs> and how they poop. <laughs> oh, you guys will enjoy this, maybe. When you're told to, to make certain that the animal goes and poops outside, and then you go, well, they pee, that must be the same thing. They could have pooped. It's not the same thing. <laughs> the pooping is still going to happen. <laughs> it's like the movie The Happening, The Poopening. It's The Poopening. No, it's really good that the bird doodle is cute as hell, because that thing shits everywhere. It's just like walking around going, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump ass right here. And it does not stealth mode, too. There's no, like, catching it back. It's just like, hmm, nope. You should put a bell on its anus. <laughs> and time everything comes out of that. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I got that you. in the house. You were or a laser, laser, a laser sensor. A dog on it. <laughs> <laughs> the laser sensor on the TV. See, it's a, uh, a shock collar connected to a butt plug thing that <laughs> has a strange gauge. fire everything out. <laughs> this is... <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> this is my projectile dog. It thinks it's a skunk. Okay. What's in the um, well? There is just a pair of black wings, very large. Um, they are kind of like bird wings, and they're just sort of wrapped around something in the middle of the uh, uh, in the middle of the circle. Yeah. Uh, the circle does look like it has these golden runes kind of dancing around it, and as your light comes near, you actually see the reflection off of the uh, off of these hemispherical dome. There's somebody in the sphere. Well, I'll yell up. No way. Who so is it? Down. They've got Blackwing. Um, Blackwing. Uh, and I'm going to sort of. Commence with the with the jobbing of like that's about two hundred feet down where you see the thing. Yeah, you like, that, on my way down, I see it. It's like you, you notice that one of the wings 
pulls back a little bit, and there are these two reddish slit of eyes looking back at you from the darkness in between the wings themselves. I'll give him a cheery wave on the way past. <laughs> surely this is a goodly <laughs> creature of law. Nope, surely this is a goodly creature of fun. Law. Okay. The wings begin to shrink as you're going down. You can now no longer see them because you've gone down towards the golem. You notice uh, the golem trumping around down there? Like, there's broken statues and there's some skeletons and, like, they don't clean up very much. Down here? Yeah. Huh. I'm going to circle slowly and take my time dropping alchemist firebombs so on it. just fucking chucking your bombs? Yep. Uh, it can't reach you, so yep. take your attack rolls. You could roll them all at once if you want. Okay. Um, I will. I will roll like all my bombs, and then. Um, Please do not fumble. I'll try not to fumble. Your uh, bombs are supernatural. Yes. Bastard. My bombs are even might even be extraordinary. So tricky. Yeah. Um, boom. Fucking alchemists. Yep. Yep. It's my turn, guys, to play the alchemist. <laughs> so here's flying down there. So, eight. Uh, so it's just don't roll one. Uh, no ones. The first one's a critical threat. I don't think I can critical. Nope. So, uh, I don't think I get any bonuses for anything else. So, it's... 12 damage, 11 damage. You can just add it all up. 9. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to know how many bombs I have left over, just in case I need to bomb something else. So, what what number do I need to hit? Um, it took 78 damage total from the fight, and it's got 140 hit points, so you need... Holy fuck, okay, uh, so it's going to need 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So, uh, I've got a bomb left. <laughs> okay, so you're, dang, dang, dang. you could just see him as there are explosions down below as the thing is freaking out and moving around and trying to jump up and grab him and it just, Fuck you. No, just this relentless barrage of yeah. bombs. And I did 70, 77 damage. Which should be enough to. Eventually, the thing crumbles inside of its armor, and there are plates of armor and broken clay everywhere. And the the magic from the uh, from the curse goes kind of scattering off into the uh, into the uh, ground. I pick up the body, okay. and I fly out of the hole with it. Because he can't. <laughs> seven feet of, or seven seven eight hundred pounds of. No, it's just, yes. Was okay. that your light load? <laughs> uh, let me just check to confirm, but uh, yeah, it should, it, 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 my, my strength load changes like super rapidly. Um, so, uh, plus your calculator. Okay. Yes, plus there is a man standing awkwardly on on his on his hind feet. Yeah, it's it's in my leg. Uh, like like kind of on well, on his hind feet, on his feet, but he, he's he's sort of doing that um, that Spider Man pose. Yeah. Yes, yes. Looking um, up at you like he's not learned how to squat or something like that. Um, he's he's in this weird perfect suit, uh, and he has a recognizable face, at least um, to those who are playing where did the file go god damn it there are several options that this description thus far could be why what are you doing in the well it's the invisible Christopher Walken <laughs> There's a really creepy smile that he gives you as you fly up with the golem. And he uh, gives you the same wave that you gave him. I, I gave him a nod. <laughs> uh, 
His I, I, I gave him a nod. I, I just motion like with the, with one drink, one finger. Okay. <laughs> he then seems to go back to whatever meditative state he was in. Okay, I, I deposit the gold. He's got really nice clothes. Treasure back up to the place where we can get it. <laughs> <laughs> the broken bits of of the uh, of the clay golem still jangling inside of its uh, its very heavy large armor. Uh, there is a man down there, very uh, um, noble man. Seems happy to see. Oh. Well, I think we've firmly established I'm not the one to be making, you know, the first uh, people talking People don't like people. when you point arrow at them. <laughs> well, you know what? They should maybe get used to it, because um, if you're trapped in a bubble, you know what? Maybe there's a good reason you're trapped in a bubble. <laughs> Lance better than arrow for diplomacy. Is there a um? Uh, I want like a like a. I want to make a bridge. Why do you want to make a bridge? What a bridge? A bridge? A bridge? A bridge of what? Uh, like well, we... a rainbow bridge? Bridge of happiness? Bridge of friendship? <sighs> I want to make a, a, a bridge of... Do we have a, Is there a stack of trees somewhere where I can just sort of shove into the wall? <laughs> a stack of trees that you can shove into the wall. So are you trying to make like a rope bridge? Well, I want, I want to make like a like a, a diving board sticking he's, out of this he's, wall. He's 200 feet down. Right. So mm -hmm. fly down, something to stand on. I want like a platform to stand on down there. Got it. So you're going to... Go look around. Give me a knowledge engineering. Uh, Architecture engineering. All right, I, I'll do this. I want knowledge strength check. <laughs> <laughs> does, does it's craft culinary? Craft <laughs> 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 so yeah. huh? <laughs> He's picturing like a bridge, but he's really he, not. He wants he wants a thing that he can just shove into the wall. <laughs> No, I know, I know. It's, it's what he wants to do. It says we can do it. Right. <laughs> uh, rule, like, rule one applies. You just can't fucking... He's, he's, like, the stones... He's pretty sure that he can yeah. pound things into stone. He's just, he's never played he needs minor... He needs something to pound into the stone. Um, uh... What are you guys doing with the golem body? You just laying it there? Yeah. I think we'll, like, for now, just leave it there. Uh, eventually strip the armor and the funny ring off of it. Lokrik's going over and gives it a kick in the head. Bring. <laughs> um, Oberon, do you have another flying spell or should I give you lift? Uh, where are you bringing me? To meet man in power. He has nice robes, like you. I think I'm... He's looking over the edge, he can't quite see anything because there's no light down there. Am I the right person to do the speaking? Uh, well, it's hard to speak to him because there's bubble in the way. You're the right person to know how to get rid of bubble. Is this something that we should be doing? I don't Hell know. Hell no. I don't know. Definitely not. I can... Hey! <laughs> you come over here too, I bring you both down. <laughs> ah, gonna pick up Oberon and Lemmy. Okay. One under each arm. In a somewhat gentle way. And I'm going to fly them down to go look at the thing. <laughs> I even put ranks in fly. For, <laughs> when I level all the ranks in fly. <laughs> so there'll be this lazy circle around the orb because I have to keep moving. Okay. 
Okay. So you you fly down. You get down there. You can see the man is is now standing up, and he's fiddling with a um, a strange square of metal that he's flipping open and closed. You can't hear him. There's no sound coming from. He's just pacing what? around. He's got his hand, one one hand behind his back and the other one in front of him. He's just. Uh, what is it? He appears to be a man. He's casting detect magic. Some sort of field of force, perhaps. Although I can't quite see what's in that other circle, the one just superimposed with the force. Uh, with the glowy stuff, runes. Yes, this is beyond me. What languages do you speak, the three of you? I am certain that he knows low dynastic. Um, maybe Ichthunian, or high dynastic, or Nizumi, or Nagaji, or Auslandic, or giant. Not relevant. Gnome, Sylvan, Boslandic, Druid, Elven, Giant, Dwarven. Not relevant. And then Oberon. Oberon speaks uh, Crucible, Crucible Trade. Trade Tongue, Elven, Sylvan, Draconic, Dwarven, Gnome, Halfling, Orc, Goblin, Giant, and Voslandic. Nope, he doesn't notice anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. The symbols are strange. I've seen them somewhere before. You can make a linguistics check to identify a language. Hey, that's Russian. I don't know what it says, but it looks Russian. You know. It's got the funny K and everything. Yep. Backwards letters. The Russian typography is so fucking weird. Seven. I tried to learn it, but it just makes no sense. It's like, it's an M, but it looks like an R. What the fuck? Okay, Oberon plus 12. It is magic. Um, I can't detect through the circle. Somebody knew what they were doing. But I could swear that some of those symbols are celestial. So... Angel put them in here. Hmm. Or goodly being put him in here. Or uh, somebody is using goodly script to keep... Hmm. Without someone to consult or library, I don't know. This place is full of mysteries. This guys, is not something we should be messing with. The guy's glancing at Oberon, he's glancing at Lemmy. He's still flicking with this weird... This weird metal thing. Does it ha Talk about the Z of Poe? Yeah, but it's got no fire in it. Like, it's not... He's, he's flicking it, but it's not, it's not doing anything. <laughs> um, I will fly back up with the dudes. Okay, he raises an eyebrow and watches you go, and he's still pacing. Uh, um, question. Uh, hold on. Let me, I want go to the, go to the bottom. Did you kill the, the, the uh, golem already? Uh, no, let's go look for it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ahmed looks so like I he's off from it. So. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a little out. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, the, I bombed the fuck out of the goal. Good yeah. job. Um, is, is there any parts of that vine left? Uh, yeah, there, there are bits of the vine left. Okay, right. uh, they're, they're already up at the top because I grabbed oh, the did? other thing. Yeah. Oh, good boy. So we go to the bottom with the wizard that they can look for magic. Okay. Um, there are bones and old armor and that sort of thing. There's there's no there's no magic at the bottom of the well. Uh, do we think there might be secret door here or just death? How do they pick stuff up? It doesn't look like they've picked anything up for a long time. Huh. Stains okay. and ick down here. Please don't put me down. Hmm. No, no, no. I am not feeling weak yet. 
This is the this is Sparta well. Is that what this thing is? <laughs> this is the Sparta well. This is Acropolis. This is Sparta. <laughs> nice. uh, Lokrik has uh, managed to pull the ring off the golem's finger and is saying it's magical and he's looking at it. Something curious happens uh, to the golem when he does that. Uh, Galath? Yes, sir. All the plates on the golem's armor kind of flicker. Like, they all kind of go when he pulls off the ring. What was that? Mark. Come play the bag right beside the headset. He can't hear us, so... He, he can't hear us because he doesn't wear the headset. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> or he's wearing it. Wait. No, I'm he's wearing there. the headset. <laughs> That's ring. Okay. It seems connected to the armor. I can always hear you. <laughs> no, you can't. Lokrik's going to attempt to identify the ring as he's interested in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. <clears throat> it's not a good identifier, or as good as Oberon. Oberon. His spellcraft check is plus seven. I believe the DC is... Particularly honest, Galath is good at everything through brute force and blind luck. I believe the DC is... Don't forget the gods. Well, the favor of the gods. Also of that. The, of, the, of, the, of the god. Identify the properties of a magic item. 15 plus caster level. That makes certain magic items really, really hard to identify. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. He's just well, cool this. We'll have to look at it later. <laughs> the important thing is that we defeated the guardian of this place. Assuming there's no f further greater defense. Uh, I think there's prisoner down there. I don't know if it's a good prisoner or a bad prisoner, but definitely prisoner. If I recall Just... speaking to Ixa, the idea was that the prisoner down there cannot be trusted. If it's who we think that it, who we think it is, no way to really know until we finish looking around this place. I would agree, but let's proceed with caution. Do you speak celestial? No. Celestial. Uh, do you? N no. Uh, you. <laughs> Look, Rick. No. Uh. What about you, Rick? Uh, uh, no. Oh. I no, spent actually, my time Lord learning does. that. Dwarven Crucible. Yes, of course. It is the favored tongue of uh, servants Lord of the Morning Salmon. Picked up off the fucking. <laughs> it's now Dwarf and Elf, one at each hand, and we're going to go back down again. <laughs> You'll have to teach me sometime, Lokrik. I'd love to know the tongue of angels. Okay. Uh, Loki actually goes yeah. over, and as he's going by, he, he reaches his hand up and touches your elbow. He's like, I would be honored to teach you. I, I'm not going to unseat the paladin. That might be too much of a, an insult. <laughs> You're bringing Oberon back down? <laughs> you still got Oberon well, around your fucking arm? <laughs> he sighs. Not, you've seen the movie King Kong? He's yeah. playing Jane, or whatever the name is. The... <laughs> Isabel. Okay. The, the the guy's basically basically back down in that pose again. The little silver thing in his hand has gone away, and he's just watching you guys approach. It's, it's very bird like. It's, it's like it's it's like not man like, but he perfectly looks like a man. He's got nice dress shoes on, slacks, a very nice thin silk kind of coat, and a white shirt underneath. He looks refined, well groomed. There is his eyes. There's something that bugs you about his eyes. It's the uh, invisible Christopher Walken. <laughs> says the guy <laughs> in his chair. Oh god. <laughs> ah! It's got an initial bonfire of plus 700. <laughs> He's looking at you with these raven colored eyes. What? This, is your father's, this is your father's watch. <laughs> <laughs> the night of Seattle, Christopher Walken's. Um, Lokrik, uh, what do the runes say? 
It's just a smattering of script here and there. Fly me around. Let me see if I can get the gist of it. We we go slowly in a circle. Do, 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 okay. do, 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 do. Does it say the only way to dismiss the orb is more cowbell? <laughs> Maybe I chose the wrong token. <laughs> well, I mean, if you chose a Chuck Norris token, you get the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Lokrix, he, he actually has flashes of concern, and he's looking at the guy, and he glances up at Uker. I've, got, I've seen enough. Okay, I fly the movie. He goes like, the guy in the circle just goes like this. <laughs> and Uka gives like a shrug sort of motion back with the two feet. see okay I'm a little concerned about like people this. looking at us from circles because I feel like the last time we had somebody who looked at us from an object and made faces at us that did not work out well for us he, he, he goes like this uh, I nod <laughs> He he then gets bored with you as you guys fly back up. Yeah, Lokrik's got, make a, me feel better. Lokrik's got a a sour face and he looks like he's a couple of shades um, um, whiter. Mm. I'm not too sure what to make of it. But the runes speak of heresy, hubris, a traitor, and then something about Judgment and what is the word when you prove yourself worthy again? Redemption. Redemption. Um, so All of those things are very specific. Mm. You can still be hero and heretic to someone. You can still be hero and be a traitor to someone. You can still be hero. Religion check as he read. And no hero should be treasonous. He's going to roll a plus 20 on his what if, knowledge religion. What if your king is He's going to take 20. I mean. Terrible person. Then he is the traitor. But king call you traitor. Then you are not a traitor. And they the put king traitor is a liar. in your prison. <laughs> I think that he was tricked into going there and he was bound there. But the things that it spoke of Should we ask Snake Lady? There is a name woven into that ring that I cannot quite read. Somebody knew specifically the name of the creature they were calling. No, not calling. The creature is actually here. Oberon. Uh, uh, not Oberon. Yeah, Oberon. Oberon, do you remember the characters? I can go down and study them. I can write them down. It's mixed in with the magic. I don't know if all of it's visible, but it might provide a clue. It would be nice to know name before we crack open Force Egg. Fine. Oberon's going to recast Fly um, using an Arcane Bond. Okay. I'm assuming he's going to just go himself. And he will 
start writing down in his legendary book. Uh, the runes around um, trapped angelic question mark figure. We'll call it just winged figure at the bottom of the moaning well. Uh, I think it's one of those just quickly check the other chambers to yeah. see if there's anything else in here. Okay, so moving, yeah. in, moving into this chamber, there's this massive strong man uh, depicted in this statue. It makes Uker kind of jealous because the man's depicted as having an entire planet on his back. Oh. The planet... Rude. It's probably just a metaphor. <laughs> like no, 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 but it, no, no. it's like one of the it's like one of these <laughs> one of these pictures of like every single muscle of of the man is like pronounced. It can sinew be used, and yeah, sinew yeah. and bone and muscle. It, it's just like yeah. everything as he's struggling he, with this this massive. He's sphere. very strong. Uh, Uker's like touching him. <laughs> um, there there are a few other things. Um. There are um, the world that he's got on his back. Now I have to decide something. Give me a second. Lemmy challengingly stands in front of the statue and starts flexing. <laughs> oh, I pulled the <laughs> Uker stands on the other side of the statue and tips it over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wild shapes into a puddle of goo. <laughs> not helpful at all. <laughs> Turns into a blood ooze. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Which one? Which one? Again, I didn't think you were gonna. Have a look in the garbage pit. Player characters, am I right? Yeah. They just do stuff. <laughs> Give me a D30. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Ahmed, you want to roll this? Since you're you're showing off to the, the Atlas statue? Hell or, yeah, let's do this. You mean the strong guy statue? Oh, I mean whatever he is. Nineteen. Okay, give me a D ten. Yeah. One. Interesting. Hmm? My god, it's Narnia. <laughs> um, the planet that he's got on his back actually has clouds that are moving huh? across the the surface of the world. Cool, cool. Um, and I need a knowledge geography check from Oberon and Lokrik and Azildan. Oh. Hey, how about Lemmy? Hey, that's 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 you guys. I know characters who no, play in our fine. game. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'd also accept a certain knowledge world check. I don't have knowledge. I don't geography. think we have any of that, do we? All right, you guys can roll in checks if you want. As nah. there's something suspiciously familiar 